Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and in this video we are going to discuss how to prepare and clear your ASHICOP Terraform Associate Certification in your very first attempt. So we'll be discussing on this and without any further delay let's get started. This markdown file will have all the important links everything related to ASHICOP Terraform Associate Certification and I'll give you the link of this particular markdown file in this video description. You can refer it from there. So this video I have divided in three different parts. The first part is where we will be discussing a lot about the Associate Terraform Certification. So what to prepare, how to prepare. So those details will be seen as part of this part. And in the next part, we'll be discussing what to expect on the roadmap. So how many questions will be there and what will be the format So all the details we'll be discussing here. And in the third part, I'll share my personal experience like the blogs which I referred for this exam and not just for the exam, but for learning Terraform and the reference material and the sample questions which I use for practice. So all the links and I'll walk you through all those things in this part. So before proceeding further, I just want to make one thing very clear. The topic of this video that is Terraform Associate Certification in 10 days. So I've been working in Terraform for more than six plus months now. I've been using Terraform CLI and the cloud provider is Google Cloud Platform. I have done a lot of hands on and I worked on two to three projects in Terraform. So all this experience collectively this experience and the learnings helped me to clear and prepare for this exam in less than 10 days. But if you ask me whether you should have real time experience and you should have worked in Google Cloud Platform as your cloud provider. No, if you've done some basic answers and you can use any cloud provider like GCP, Azure, AWS, anything, you will have enough knowledge and confidence on clearing this Terraform Associate Certification. So that's it. Now we'll dive deep in this part one. So the objectives of this Terraform Associate Certification, you should be very comfortable knowing what is IAC and the concepts involved in IAC that is infrastructure as a code and you have to understand what is Terraform, what is the purpose of Terraform and what are the other components like other tools which is competing with Terraform and also we have to understand the Terraform basics that includes core comments like init, format, validate, plan, apply, destroy, refresh and the next one is you have to understand the Terraform core workflow as I mentioned earlier the previous command is core workflow and also like modules providers outputs local variables and input variables so the syntax the modules so there are different concepts which we'll be seeing and how to interact with the modules and again the core of your Terraform workflows and the most important point which you have to be very comfortable knowing what it is that is Terraform state and Terraform log file. And the next part is you have to understand like how to read, how to generate or how to modify all modify your Terraform code like those things also you should be very comfortable. And the last part of this particular Terraform associate certification is you have to understand what is SCP Terraform and its capabilities. Core Terraform is it's an open source but the cloud versions of Terraform like HCP Terraform that includes free trier standard plus and also apart from this you have HCP Terraform Enterprise as well. So you have to have some good amount of knowledge on all the different topics. You should have good amount of knowledge both theoretically and practically. So when you do practically you will have more knowledge also. Now I'll walk you through the official learning path of Associate Terraform certification. So here you can just click on this learning path exam content list and sample questions. So this is just a quick roadmap. So what to cover links you should like all those things will be readily available. You can see the learning path of Terraform Associate certification. The documentation is very detailed. Everything will have links to it. You don't need to search anywhere. So first thing is you have to learn about your infrastructure as a code. So you where you can see infrastructure as code and the introduction video documentation all the links you will be able to find it here and the next one is Terraform fundamentals as I mentioned earlier you should have good amount of knowledge on the Terraform CLI commands and Terraform state Terraform locking files Terraform modules and Terraform workspaces and Terraform state commands like all the different CLI commands you should have good amount of knowledge and you can expect around 10 15 questions on those topics and the next one is navigate the core of terraform workflows so here you can see the documentation initialize validate command to plan that is terraform plan terraform apply terraform destroy terraform format so this is very very important not just from certification point of view but also from working with actual terraform code and the next one is learn more about the subcommands of this 
main command like what is the other flags which is involved as part of terraform in it and the next one is like use and create your modules put variables output variables output values calling a child module from root module and read and write configurations like from resources creating the actual resources in the remote state or creating the resources in your local state and the next one is reference named values data sources create data source dependencies resource graph target resources and what are the different uh, built-in functions and the data types available inside Terraform and one important point to notice how to use Terraform environment variables how to use Terraform debug and the next one is manage state so how to create state file like where to keep the state file so all the details you can see it here what is state locking protect sensitive input variables all the details you'll be able to find it here and the next one is understand scp terraform that is the cloud version of terraform and different features so this was the learning path of terraform associate certification now we will discuss the exam content list so you can just go here everything is documented very clear in ashikop terraform certification so what is the topic what is the documentation and the tutorial you can find it here so whatever we have discussed till now right those things you'll be able to find it in this table you can just take a look at it and the next one is sample questions so you can expect type of true or false questions multiple choice questions multiple answer questions as well you will be able to expect and uh, one important point to notice there will be text match which means like you have to write fill in the blanks also you can expect those questions as well here so now i'll close all these things and now we will get into the documentation part so if you see here right uh, intro to terraform there we will talk about iacs different top tools used in iocs use cases and the next one is terraform language documentation and in this we will see what is modules providers how to create resources provisionness what are the different input output local variables so we will be having good amount of like you will understand most of the core concepts of terraform in this terraform language documentation and the terraform cls it's from the name itself you can understand it is the cli commands and all the different sub commands passed in that we will be seeing all those things in this CLA documentation and HCP Terraform basically not you don't need to dive deep in HCP Terraform but obviously good amount of theoretical knowledge and little bit practical knowledge will obviously help you to understand HCP Terraform in much better way so now I'll open this HCP Terraform and this is the official documentation so you can just go here the documentation like intro to Terraform configuration language terraform cli hcp terraform and terraform enterprise so this is not really required but you should have knowledge on this registry publishing whatever i'm telling this not just for the certification point of view but also it to understand terraform in much better depth and in a much better practical way so here you can see you will be able to find what is terraform here how does terraform work and why terraform and here also you can see the terraform different editions so here you can see the use cases and you can get started like if you are from aws background you can use this if you are from azure background you can use this if you are from gcp background you can use this i am from google cloud platform background and i have done lot of hands-ons and highly recommend everyone to do lot of hands-ons understand it both theoretically and practically so the next one is terraform editions and the next part is like the configuration language resources understanding the resources and resource blocks and the meta argument you should have good amount of knowledge on this depends on count for each and the next one is provisionness and the next one is uh, terraform data resource types you should know what is this terraform data resource type and next to this like data sources is very important and providers is very important and variables and output like input variable output variable and local values these things also very important and the modules like you can get multiple questions it's personally i got around seven to eight questions from modules alone modules and terraform workspaces and terraform state commands i got around 20 to 23 questions on this particular concept so the next one is backend block and the terraform block you will get at least one or two questions on this and the next part where you have to spend good amount of time is this import next to import we have this expressions and functions so you can have knowledge on it but you can't expect questions from this but the state module is very important you will have good amount of questions and moving on to the next one we have this terraform cla so whatever the cla features or whatever the topics you see here right 
everything you should be aware of where you can expect a good amount of questions on your certification point of view and moving on to the second part what to expect on the roadmap of this particular certification there is no such prerequisites for this certification exam it is beginner level so you can just prepare and you can go for this certification and the exam details is basically it is an assessment like where you'll have multiple choice true or false fill in the blanks type of questions and the next one is format it is basically an online based exam and there will be a live proctor and the duration is one hour and the price of this certification is 70.50 usd dollars and free retake it is not included and the language is english and the expiration for this certification is two years in this exam you will get around 57 to 60 questions so in my certification exam i got 57 questions and the passing percentage is 70 percentage or more from 57 questions you should clear at least 40 to 42 questions right in order to crack this exam so it is very very easy i'm telling you if you dedicate 10 days less than 10 days if you dedicate and learn all the whatever i have mentioned till now if you do all those things then you will crack this exam and now i'll show you how to register for the exam just click on this link it will take you here and under this certification exam you can just click on this schedule and exam so basically you can sign in with this using your github profile very similar to this screen you will be able to see here so here you can see the home dashboard profile schedule take exam exam history and credentials you will be able to find all the details here so name according to your uh, government id you should have the name and your mail id for the communications and this is the exam platform if you just click on this this will take you to this 30 verse and this is where you can find all the terraform related exams so terraform exams like this is the associate and here you can see 70.50 usd and live proctored without secure browser and you can find all the other related exams like vault exams console exams so you can just click on this and then you can easily register it so this is how we'll be able to register for your exam and going back to the third part we will continue there i'll just explain you my personal experience so first i'll talk about the exam like it was I got 57 questions and whatever the types I have mentioned, right? So I got all those questions and whatever the topics which I have mentioned, so that is the topic I got questions as well. And uh, this blog, like this place lift blog is something which I feel which is very, very useful. Not from certification point of view. This is on understanding a Terraform altogether. Like this space lift documentation and the actual documentation from Terraform, right? So those two are my go-to materials for learning Terraform. And for the sample questions, I didn't practice much so I used the sample questions from Ashikop Terraform and this Vizlab. So in Vizlab they have 50 questions you can just take a look at it this also will be really helpful for your preparation. And next to this the Udemy course I highly recommend you to go through this certification this was very helpful from beginner perspective but again if you are someone who have some experience and you want you are looking for to implement it in the production level then this course is something which is not recommended for that purpose. So these are the reference materials which are used for preparing for the associate certification exam and also for understanding Terraform and implementing it in the real time. And under cloud and AI analytics, I'll be creating a specific playlist for Terraform using Google Cloud Platform as my cloud provider. And I'll be exploring and I'll be doing everything the practical implementation right from beginner to intermediate to expert level i'll be creating all the topics and i'll be having it in my youtube playlist you can find all the details related to this and the code you can find it in this github repo so that's it for this video if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Viknesh. Happy learning.